Tech Mobile is a series of games that started in the arcades and kind of ended up on Xbox Live Arcade and the Nintendo DS. These are arcade sports games that are based on American football, but they don't try to be realistic at all. They weren't really trying to compete with Madden, and in my opinion, they're much better for it. Originally released in the arcades in 1987, uh, Tech Mobile would be ported to the Nintendo Entertainment System and to the Game Boy. With the differences between in the two versions, uh, they are kind of different games. We'll talk about the NES and the Game Boy version later. While they both have the same gameplay style, they have major differences. The arcade is a four-player game, while the NES is a two-player game. Uh, There are more teams on the NES port. The NFL's uh, Players Association actually gave the license to the NES game. So you have players who actually played the game instead of just a bunch of cutouts. The arcade has better graphics due to its hardware. But overall, they're still very fun games. Tech Mobile was not the first arcade football game, or even the first arcade sports game. I know that sounds a little weird, but it was probably one of the better ones. It's one of those games that I wish I had played in the arcade. I only really played the NES version, but after playing the ROM, I think it's a lot of fun to go back and look at older games like this. While this wouldn't be the end of Tecmo Bowl, it would eventually morph into Tecmo Super Bowl. But let's talk a little bit about the NES port. Even with the shift to the Nintendo Entertainment System, Tecmo Bowl wasn't totally done in the arcades. It would find a short life on uh, Nintendo's Play Choice 10. These were arcade games, well, these were arcade cabinets with 10 NES games in them, and you paid for time in order to play a specific game. It was kind of a fun way to market different Nintendo games at the time, so you would have a chance to play them before you would go out and buy them. At least that was the theory. While Tech Mobile had the NFL's Player Association license, it didn't have the NFL license, so it couldn't use team names or logos. Instead, it used city names and color, basically the colors of the teams, to simulate that it actually had the NFL license. Well, it unfortunately didn't. It wasn't the first game to do this. Other sports games would try stuff like this. Uh, Konami's Blades of Steel would do it as well. I'm kind of at a loss for another game that tried it uh, in the same way. But the NES port was released in 1989. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. The graphics did take a hit from the arcade, but overall the gameplay remained intact. You only had four offensive plays for each team. Most teams had two running and two passing uh, plays. In, ah, gosh, sorry. (laughs) San Francisco and Miami had three passing plays, which kind of reflected the play style of those teams. And the thing that I remember the most is my older brother staring at my controller when I'm trying to select plays. This is when the series got very interesting. Tecmo Super Bowl is the second game in the series, if you count the arcade and the NES port as the same game. Which is fine if you do. But this is when when the game actually had the NFL Players Association license and the NFL license. So you could have the team names, the logos, and the player names. There are three players whose names were excluded from the game because they apparently didn't have a deal with the NFLPA at the time. Jim Kelly, Randall Cunningham, and Bernie Kosar are all left out, and they're replaced with team names and their position. So QB Bills is going to be Jim Kelly, QB Eagles, Randall Cunningham, and QB QB Browns is Bernie Kosar. I looked at this a, a little more, and I couldn't really find out why that was the case. Uh... I could only speculate on why, but I think those players just weren't part of the NFLPA's marketing license for whatever reason. 
I don't know if it had to do with them not being part of the union or not signing over those rights to the union or something along those lines. I couldn't find out why they weren't a part of those those things at the time, but yeah, it, it was just kind of an interesting part to this whole story. I don't remember seeing this in any of the sequels, so I'm guessing it was just this one-time thing, and in later video games, they kind of worked all this out. It was still kind of new to have this kind of this idea in those games, this this idea to be part of the games. So, yeah, I'm not sure why Tecmo Bowl or Tecmo Super Bowl was like this. I would have to go back and look at the Madden games, like Madden 89 and Madden 90, to see if they had a similar issue. It would be very interesting to kind of tell, but I did not really look too far into that. The rosters for this game are kind of cobbled together from the 1990-1991 season. This means you don't have rookies from those seasons or rookies that were signed during the draft at that time. Trades that happened before the game was released, those are left out. And other changes like uh, free agent signings or something along those lines, they had to be omitted. This was long before you could patch anything on a home console, so this was just kind of what you had to deal with at the time. You could play a single game or a full season or just the playoffs. There are also kind of minor edits that you can do to the roster, like you can make some changes on offense and kind of with special teams, but mostly just the return specialists. You couldn't substitute defensive players, and defensive players could not be injured. You also couldn't have your offensive linemen injured at all, and injuries usually only lasted a week. These were some pretty big changes from what Tech Mobile did, and it did keep the same style of gameplay, but for the most part, some of the bugs that were in the original Tech Mobile got left out. Which is kind of great, actually. You couldn't just keep dropping back as the quarterback and throw like a 70-yard touchdown pass or something like that. Just something insane along those lines. I did have a few friends who kept trying it, though, but it never worked in Tecmo Super Bowl in the same way that it did with Tecmo Bowl. One thing that I wasn't aware of when I started looking into all these games... I didn't know that the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo had their versions of Tecmo Super Bowl. I thought it was just uh, on the NES, but apparently, no, it it was on a lot more systems. I was playing the uh, Sega Genesis version for this, and this is the version that I kind of prefer. I tend to like sports games on the Genesis more than the Super Nintendo, Not to take anything away from the other installments of Tecmo Super Bowl or its sequels, I just prefer playing it on the Genesis. Tecmo Super Bowl 2 was released early in 1995, and it uses the rosters from the 1994 NFL season. The game was released on the SNES and on the Sega Genesis, The graphics are much better than the previous games. Even the previous games released on the 16-bit versions don't look as good as this one. That being said, my copy of Tecmo Super Bowl II is kind of crappy, and at some point it glitched out, which was a ton of fun. And we'll move right on from that, because I tried to get rid of as much of that footage as possible. A bunch of features were added to this game. The rosters were expanded quite a bit. You could trade players, and defensive players could get injured, and you could swap them around a little bit. So, yeah, it did a huge update from the first one. You could also customize the rosters in more ways than the first Tecmo Super Bowl. The game was still an arcade sports game, but you had more of playbook options. Instead of the eight plays that you could pick on in a Tecmo Super Bowl, you now had 16 plays. You could also dis- you could also um, 
mess around with the defenses a little bit more. You could choose from different formations on defense, like goal line, dime, nickel, and then kind of your standard one. So it allowed you to do more things and have just a different play style. The series was kind of taking more steps towards what Madden was, but it was still keeping the same arcade style of gameplay. A few changes to the gameplay were made, but they didn't really change too much. They added two-point conversions and fair catches. The two-point conversions were in line with rule changes to the NFL, and the fair catches really weren't needed. I, I don't think they really mattered too much, but it did kind of make Tecmo Super Bowl II a bit more realistic than the previous one. Tecmo Super Bowl III was released at the end of 1995. It continued the trend of the game moving closer to what Madden was at the time, and it added a lot more features to it that, in my opinion, made this the best version of the game. It added in a a create-a-player mode and kind of a customized player mode. The gameplay included things that kind of reflected how a television broadcast would be presented, as the game was getting a little bit more cinematic than before. The graphics were also much better. The touchdown celebrations, which I haven't talked about up until this point, were much better in this one than they were in the first game. I don't think they were as good. Well, I don't think they were better than the second game, I'll say it that way. I kind of prefer this one to the second game because I just I have more memories of it. This was the one that we rented more than the second game and honestly, I never even heard of I had never even heard of the second game. I just went over to a friend's house and suddenly we were playing the third and it was awesome. The create a player mode was pretty cool. They didn't have a um like a career mode for that player yet. So you would just replace an existing character on the roster with a new one. And then over time, as that player was kind of used more and did better in games, it would almost gain experience and you'd be able to increase its stats to make it almost unbeatable. It got kind of annoying, but... Well, I wouldn't say annoying. It got kind of abusive a little bit to the other team where you would have a player get a punt, and that player would just easily be able to return it. Yeah, it was it was kind of abusive if you were playing against somebody else and you had your customized roster. So cutting players and adding free agents was kind of fun for this. There was a point system to it all, so you couldn't just sign everybody that you wanted. It was kind of a pseudo-salary cap that was added in, and yeah, you'd have to kind of drop some, usually dropping like your offensive linemen to pick up better players, just to create more space in your point totals. You also had different uh, stadiums and weather that was added to the game. So the various fields were grass, turf, and you could also have the baseball field that San Francisco had. I don't know if anyone ever any other place besides Candlestick Park had that, but it was kind of cool to see that at the time. Uh, the two expansion teams that were added to the league around this time are also in the game, so you can play as the Carolina Panthers and the Jacksonville Jaguars. It helped the game to stay a little bit more current, just because the league was changing a little bit, so yeah, they changed things out a little bit more with this game as well. The Sega Genesis version was released first, and yeah, it it's the one that I know of, or at least the one that I played more of. I know that I I had to have played the Super Nintendo back in '95, but uh, or the Super Nintendo version back in '95, but I don't really remember that one. This is the version of the game that I remember the most. A friend of mine would rent it on the Sega Genesis, and I think. Yeah, I found copies of the SNES ROM online, and that was kind of what I played for a while. So, playing with a keyboard instead of playing with a controller. The PlayStation game is a a little strange. 
I couldn't find too much information on it, and it seems to get lumped into the first Tecmo Super Bowl. I'm not sure why it wasn't called Tecmo Super Bowl Bowl 4 or anything like that, but maybe they were trying to make just a clean restart with the with the uh, series. It would have made more sense if this was Tecmo Super Bowl 4. I do not remember playing this game back in the 90s. I don't even know if I had ever heard about it back then. Uh, as far as I can tell, this was like the when I discovered this, it was probably like a month ago or so. It does not look as good as Tecmo Super Bowl three, and yeah, I, I'm I'm saying that in hindsight because I I look at the game now, and I think yeah the the pixel graphics look better than this. Like Tecmo Super Bowl three looks better than what this is, but back in '96 when this game came out. It probably would have looked better because it went with sort of like 3D graphics, which was new for the franchise at the time. And in the mid to late 90s, a lot of games were trying to make the shift to 3D. So, yeah, they, they tried, but I don't think it looks that great anymore. The controls are off, also just really awful in this game. Just trying to pick a play feels like a chore in this. Uh, it's just not very good. Uh, I really did not enjoy playing this one at all. And I kind of wanted to go back to playing Tecmo Super Bowl 3 or any of the other ones. It kind of feels like the rosters are made up from the, from the 1996 season of the NFL, but I really couldn't tell because they're, I didn't find too much different from the way the rosters were so I I don't really remember when players left or anything like that and there didn't seem to be a whole lot of change it feels like you're playing a bad version of Tecmo Super Bowl 3 or Tecmo Super Bowl 2 because the gameplay just isn't all that great compared to those games there are some good things in this version. Uh, you have unlimited trades, the playbook is a little bit larger, and you do have some different play perspectives. This one was closer to what Madden was going for, which isn't necessarily a good thing. It was just an attempt to kind of modernize a popular franchise, and I don't think it worked out very well. There were a few attempts to try to bring Tecmo Super Bowl or Tecmo Bowl back. One was on the uh, Nintendo DS, the other one was on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. I had no idea that either of those games existed, but it's kind of cool that they are out there. Other arcade football games were also released around this time, including, ro including a ROM hack of Tecmo Super Bowl that includes updated rosters every year. They're still making these, so you can go to techmobile.org and there will be a release for 2023. You can download the ROM files from their website, and you know, normally piracy is a bad thing, but when you're just making updates for a really awesome arcade sports game, I don't really see a problem with that. It would be nice if Tecmo, now Koei Tecmo, would start to make another version of Techmobile but they seem to be focused on making other games. Tecmo's kind of abandoned the sports games altogether, or at least they seem to have done so for a while. I haven't seen any indication that now Koei Tecmo is going to get back into it. But hey, I could always be surprised, and you, know, you never know what, what's going to happen. A few of these games were kind of rental titles for me and my friends. Uh, my brother and I would rent Tecmo Bowl, and you know we got Tecmo Super Bowl for Christmas one year. I remember playing Tecmo Super Bowl three on the Genesis with my friend Joey. He rented it all the time, and we had, we had a lot of fun trying to be like the sack leader for that that particular season. 
I don't think we ever finished a season when we when we rented it, just because there was not enough time in the day to actually go through the whole thing. And we also wanted to go outside and play quite a bit. So maybe we played about three or four games and then went outside to do something else. Or his parents kicked us outside to do something. There were a lot of other things that we could have been doing at the time. But yeah, Tecmo Super Bowl was, was one of them. I remember yelling at my brother quite a bit for looking at my controller when I was selecting plays. And then uh, he would also reset the game whenever it looked like I might win. Kind of the classic thing that you would see like a big brother do to a little brother. They're fun memories now. Back at the time, I remember being really upset. Now when I look back at it, I just kind of smile and laugh at stuff like that. Uh, When I first played Tecmo Bowl, I had no idea what an arcade sports game was. I just saw it as a video game had no idea it was in the arcades back then didn't really know anything about arcades back when i played it just because i was a little kid i didn't really see much of a differentiate i didn't really differentiate between the two they were just video games and you know they were fun to go and play and that was kind of what i remember most about tech mobile just sitting down having fun and either yelling at each other or cheering certain plays and getting upset that sort of thing it was a lot of fun to go back and look at this whole series and kind of see where it started and see where it ended up even if it didn't end up necessarily the way that i would have wanted it to well tecmo bowl is or sorry well tecmo has kind of stopped making football games Uh, other companies have picked up the idea of arcade sports Uh, The Mutant League games, uh, NFL Blitz, and others kind of picked up where Tech Mobile sort of left off. And Mutant League is still going today with, I think, Mutant League League Football 2. And I might be getting the the order of that wrong, but Mutant League Football 2 is coming out soon. And that series is really awesome. So that's going to wrap things up. let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and let me know what your memories of of uh, Tecmo Bowl or Tecmo Super Bowl are. I would really love to hear if you played the arcade game because that just sounds like a, a great experience to play back in the back in the day. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.